I've tanked every dungeon in Dragonflight and today would like to offer my beginner tanks this quick walkthrough and high level tanking guide for the Algetha Academy dungeon. If you like this content and want more of it, please give me a like and subscribe for more. I release a few videos per week. Algetha Academy is quite an awesome dungeon. It is somewhat similar to Nokud Offensive. This one um, is basically an open space, but not the whole zone map, and rather just the grounds of a magical academy that most of us, wow geeks, would love to visit if there was such a place for real. The most optimal path through this dungeon is not crystal clear, I guess, but I've been here about three times already before recording of this video, so twice as a tank and once as DPS, so I think I have an okay path to offer you, welcoming obviously your suggestions and optimizations in the comments below the video as always, in case I've missed something. Before we keep talking about the first boss of the dungeon, please support the featured channel of our friends, Chill and Lo-Fi Beats, who make no copyright, royalty-free music for every mood, including variety of beats for exercising, relaxation, study and so on. I will leave the link in the description, it's also on the screen, so go give them a like to show your support while we keep running through the dungeon. You enter the dungeon grounds, jump over the air bridge and cross the central plaza, turning left and up across the little bridge to the area where you will meet the history professor, Max Dormu, to fight Veximus. Um, at this starting phase of the dungeon, the trash is not dangerous at all, um, and it's all about arcane elementals who do arcane blast-like attacks and occasional AoE. You should survive this no problem, this is far from the nose of Brackenhide Hollow that greet you with, you know, lots of different mean stuff. As you clear the area, the professor starts telling you a story about how the blue dragonfly dragons fought an arcane elemental Veximus, and the hint of what to do is in the story, but I'll tell you here anyway. You basically try and block the arcane orbs from hitting, from reaching Veximus by standing in their way, as otherwise they will empower the elemental presumably and he will destroy you presumably, but we both don't want to find out. He also does some beams of arcane energy and AoE on the ground, obviously don't stand in that, but all of that is kinda negligible on normal difficulty, at least until you let him absorb too many of those orbs, which you're not going to do, are you? Second boss we will fight will actually be in the list of bosses of the dungeon, it will be a third one, uh, it will be the big bird called Kroth. You will turn left, straight left from Veximus's area and go up the map, across the bridge past more elementals to the academy's sporting field. On the way there you will go through this central crossroads kinda like that has a tower with a big guardian sentry elemental in it. I'm not sure if you need need to kill that sentry uh, but everyone seems to do it. Uh, you seem to have enough space to go around it is my point. But we killed it anyway, and the main uh, kind of hint there is to tank and stand with your back to one of the four columns around, uh, surrounding the elemental. Um, otherwise, he will knock you back and off the platform. After killing this sentry, you turn left and kind of up the map, across the air bridge and onto the sporting field. Clear the trash birds, pick up the orbs that are there and run them to the marked glowing AoE, kind of like, looks like holy fire type of AoE areas, uh, which will cause the shot to be made at the hoops, like a, a ball is thrown at the hoop, and that causes a bird to fly in. I am not sure, because I'm not an expert, if this is because of which orbs we have thrown at the hoops, soaring blaze ones or rushing winds ones presumably yes of course it's related but we just got a lot of this fire oe barrage from the sky because our team of soaring blaze must have won i don't know whatever um to fight the bird i also do not know if this mechanic is of any direct benefit rather than inconvenience to you aka does that fire barrage also damage the boss or only your group I'm sure someone in the comments will clarify this for you and I, but again, this is a beginner tank guide, not a know-it-all and everything-yourself guide, right? So let your DPS sort it out. You just tank the boss, don't stand in AoE, and don't get knocked off the platform, as everything in this dungeon appears to try and do that to you. After the bird boss is down, you go back via the tower, via the central crossroads tower, 
with now dead sentry in it and directly across it to the southern island if you open the map here it will look like a southern island um, to the area called the botanica this is where there'll be groups of lashes like little seedlings kind of stuff and two npc students casting their spells uh, that will eventually, you guessed it, activate the Ancient and uh, once all the trash is dead. As a tank, by now you should see if your DPS is keeping up and healer is not stressed. If this is the case, no need to go too slow. And I would just collect pretty much, well, maybe half of the trash in the whole area. If you're super confident, collect all of the trash if you want. Um, we were tanking normal difficulty here, so obviously be careful on higher difficulties with this advice. And let your DPS AOE it all down, is my point. The Ancient is the most boring boss, I thought, in the whole dungeon. This particular dungeon. Well, maybe the final boss is a bit more boring, but that's debatable. And only thing he does is summons lots of those hungry Lasher seedlings that have some timer before they become active. They are low health and looks like should be killed before they grow and activate, as when they activate, there'll be a ton of them and they will surely swarm your healer and squishies. On normal and with good AoE DPS, they were almost negligible. Now, straight after the Ancient, you go up the stairs uh, to deal with more arcane magic guards, who all were promptly pulled, in my case of this video, uh, by my overzealous DK DPS, uh, which I absolutely hate as a behavior, as a tank. But he served also as a guinea pig here that we're going to use to our advantage that demonstrates to us that all of this, um, all of this trash can be pulled into that little entrance into the final structure where the final boss is to break their line of sight obviously and group them all nicely to, so that a, a DPS can AOE all of them down. How you pull this area? How aggressive you go is entirely up to you as a tank, so don't be a hero if you are a true beginner and not too confident, and you will be fine. Safety of the group first, but it doesn't need to be a crawl either. Final boss is the echo of a blue dragon Doragosa, who was clearly a headmistress of the academy and who is now upset with you for some reason. She does arcane stuff. AoE, marking your party members, teleporting around doing arcane, arcane breath and pulling everyone to herself, kind of like a vacuum type of thing, so that she can cast a big AoE arcane blast again. There is nothing too dangerous here, and it looks like the main mechanic here is just that big AoE that she pulls you all in for, uh, that big circle around her, so get out of it and you will be fine. All in all, I thought that uh, Algatha Academy was a fun dungeon. It is definitely a breath of fresh air, new design, very different to what we're mostly used to in WoW, and I really enjoyed tanking it and running it as DPS too. I will not say that this is the easiest dungeon to navigate. Check my Azure Vault dungeon guide to compare it to something that's really easy. Uh, but it's not a completely insane Neltharus either. That is another dungeon. The guide is coming up very, very soon, unless it's already out and you're watching this video a few weeks away from um, its release date. So check that out too. I hope you have enjoyed this little guide and it helps you to take your beginner tanking to the next level. Please like the video so that more people can see it. YouTube will show it to more people if you like it. And uh, I also know that I'm doing something right then and that you enjoyed it. It means a lot to me. And subscribe for more from me. Thank you for your time.